guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with Attack back. on Titan. Mm -hmm. Last time on. Oh, a whale. Whale. Right? The Tell rumbling me. whale. We whale, whale, whale. We don't know that it's a whale. <laughs> it just has a rib cage. We can presume. I mean, yeah, we could presume a lot of things. We could presume it's a, it's a sperm whale. You know, there was, I was watching, um, Oh, shoot. The, the one game show where they have a board. Newlywed game. No. Will Fortune. Literally every board. game Deal or show. no deal. <laughs> Jeopardy. <Yeah. laughs> Jeopardy, yes. <laughs> and, I win, uh, I win. <laughs> they have, down in, in uh, South Africa, they have a pier that is modeled after a whale's rib cage. Like How many squares? Those, it oh. has those things that go yeah. all the way like down it. Vikings. And I was like, uh, I want to make a reference, but it's spoilers. Oh. Yeah. Because it was like Aaron. Gotcha. The whale. The whale, yep. Oh. So it wasn't Hollywood Squares? No. Oh. And presumably he has control over all Titans now, but is still letting them just kill his friends? But possibly Zeke has control of the ones that he just turned, but we don't know where he is. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are anymore. Don't know. Yeah. There's coordinates and stuff. Gabby's saving mm -hmm. Kaya, but t trying to kill Aaron. Time travel ish. Gene has Falco. Shadis is out there fucking shit up. No, Connie had Falco. Connie is going to yeah, right? he's taking right. yeah, taking him to his mother, yes. who's probably still in the village on top of the house with her little legs. Mm -hmm. Just I want to mime it, but it's creepy. Hey, no, go ahead. My legs are little. Eric was trying to convince me he was dead. It's just when you gave up over. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this happened to Calvin and I in The Walking Dead. We were like, convinced something was gonna happen. So, yeah. so, so much time passed. We're like, all right, never mind. I guess we were wrong. And the next episode, it happened. <laughs> so we couldn't get the credit because we already abandoned it. <laughs> we already abandoned it. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. It's been a season. They must be dead. I know. <laughs> like something like uh. that. He refuses to die. <laughs> I believe it of that, man. Guess is the plan to get him to eat the cart titan? Yeah. What? Levi's a cart. No. But he's not a titan. He's yeah. not a pure titan. One, he's got to be a titan. Two, why would the cart titan give it up? I don't think that's a plan. I think that they no. just need help. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think she went up and been like, all right, here's the plan. You just take a bite. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. I don't know. I mean, cart titan might agree to it. Like she said, there's no way they can win, but... Levi. I think Levi might be more effective. Levi could win. He just needs to heal. That's it is, Having the cart titan would be nothing. Yeah. Just being able to heal to 100% yeah. his normal self. Yeah, he just needs like, to heal. The cart titan uh, form I don't know. I don't think so. doesn't do him any favors. Like, he can't use his, his skills I think it's just the cart titan. A, a set of two, you know, out there with no allegiance. Like, these people's airships have left. The, the Jaggers are taken over here. Like, they're just... In their isolation and loneliness, might be able to form some type of agreement. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the Car Titan is like the, the worst, worst one. one. <laughs> like to give Levi that one, fucking just right. right. Give him the female. Here, Titan. take this. That's what I want. Sure, any of them. <laughs> no. Any of them is better. I mean, you still get the healing. Uh, like you never have to change form. That's the thing. The, the healing is instant. Like yes. Armin. Yeah, that's why he needed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which they brought up, uh, Irvin and, and Armin, the choice here, and how he is feeling that enormous weight of responsibility of being the guy that's supposed to have the answers and have the plan and... Be the leader. Be the leader. and There's just so much that's gone to shit. I know. I really, really like that scene, though, with, with Armin and... Because he... Like, I, like, what... <laughs> like here we can try this we can try this we can try this what about Aaron we can't fucking do anything about Aaron <laughs> what can we do I'm just gonna go try to save this little boy yeah. that I can't catch up to sure I gotta do something and has, I can't do anything so I'm gonna do this which has the jaw tight yeah yeah. I like that he has amnesia cause like that was the same thing that happened with Aaron mm -hmm. too it was like as soon as he got it he didn't really remember yeah. what happened afterwards either and stuff yep. so it's it seems consistent with yep. people that get that being like yeah, what the fuck happened mm -hmm. it's like well you ate your your friend. <laughs> yep. So, what's the deal with the scarf missing? Why did it disappear? Yeah. Like that was inside a building that wasn't destroyed. You know, like who would have came in and took the scarf? Hmm. Interesting. Like you took it as like it's like a mystery of a someone has it. 
Yeah, well, I mean, okay. my first thought I mean, I, was like... It makes more sense. I was just thinking it was like a... Like, Air, like Aaron's comfort and Aaron's protecting Aaron. Everything that she thinks about Aaron is literally gone now. Missing. But that also could be sure. a thing. My first thought was like, well, maybe Hanji's here and she used it for Levi to wrap up a wound or something, you know? But... She's still way no, out in the woods. she's yeah in the woods and stuff. But mm. I don't know. I was just wondering if there's some. I mean, there could just be like the meaning is literally a, not literally, like we, figuratively a. a well, what do we do with Aaron? Gotcha. Everything I have with that's Aaron's what I gone. took it as. But but it just seems weird. Might that be it's, in the nose too. It seems know. weird that it's just missing. Yeah. In a room that like I'd understand. I would have understood if like the building had been partly crumbled or destroyed a bit. Away. But it, like they were just in a room that was fine. Yeah, you know? know, like I don't know. I get you. It just seemed weird. Maybe that will be a thing. Just want to make sure Annie doesn't have it. I don't figure. I don't, I don't think, think so. she did. But. No, I don't think so. Okay. But while you're here, go to eleven fifty. Yeah. You guys didn't watch all of the OVAs, right? Uh, I watched the Levi watch. one. You watched the Levi one? Okay. A lot of There's movies. one where uh, Annie and Hitch were you passed it right uh, now. roommates, and mm-hmm. Annie tells to Hitch, "Hey, I'm not feeling very well. I'm not going to be reporting for duty tomorrow." And the next day is when the female Titan tries to take Aaron. Mm. So they kind of have a little connection, having been close to them. Um, all right, so this uh, information available for public disclosure. Used as a bogus threat by the 145th King Fritz to bring peace to Paradis, Paradis Island for the last 10 years. It should be 100. For 100 years? Yeah. Oh, for the past 100 years. Okay. Due to the vow of renouncing war, the rumbling, yeah, so just about the rumbling. Okay. Millions of colossal titans. Mm-hmm. Falling like lots of period islands. Yeah, I have a number I thought was 10 million or something or 100 million somewhere. If I can't find it, maybe it's in my old book. I like it. Now that the rumbling is underway, destruction of the world is not far off. Yep. You want to read that in his paper? I mean, like, if Armin turned into a cloth titan, could he just start, like... Like breaking their necks? I don't know. Killing them somehow? Millions. I know. It'd take a while, but he's starting to back, work his way through. What would you... I don't know if they would instinctively defend themselves, or... I want Aaron to just you take it... You stop Aaron, is the thing. I want Aaron to take it out to the edge of the island. Yeah, but you take Aaron, they're just now uncontrolled, right? And just make one giant wall around the island. They have airships. What does a wall do? Keeps them out on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be able to make landfall with any great force. It would be hard. Yeah. And you wouldn't have a lot of room. You know, you'd be stuck with like the water. I mean, yeah. eventually they're, they're going to have technology. Where, I mean, they already have like cannons and stuff. They could take down a wall if, if the if they just become a wall. Is that what you mean? Take down an airship. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's there's a reason we don't have walls now. Why? For defensive purposes. Yeah. Because they're not effective. I have walls. We have walls now. Right now. But <laughs> yeah. In for Europe, rain. In Europe, there are cities that tanks. still have their walls. And if the zombie thing ever happens, we got to go there. To Europe? Yeah. It's the well, safest the place walls. to go. You know what? If it's just infantry, it hinders them. It's not the safest okay? place to go now. <laughs> sure. A missile is not that helpful with a wall. But when the people start coming, they only have a few ways to get in. Mm. Uh, I would take a wall over nothing. If I had the choice of defending myself... And it was, you got nothing, or you got a wall, taking a wall. <laughs> at least you can be on the wall shooting at the airships. Yeah. You, you know, if, you know, if, uh, a if morality <laughs> and war crimes are off the table, Aaron has the best defense, which is a pure offense. Hey. He literally they, kills the other teams. They declared war first. <laughs> <laughs> well, one country did. I, I guess there was an alliance. There was an alliance against but that's probably not every civilians. other country in the world. Children. Because, they like... Didn't. The the ones that sure. came here, there was the <laughs> they um, were going to wipe out the island. Mika's civilians included. Mika's uh, it wasn't her family, but her people, whatever, right? Like they it said was the, she was a princess, whatever. Yeah. Like they were coming here secretly because their people were aligned with the Marleys and stuff, and they were trying to help. So like, yeah, yeah they, like the whole world was aligned. So yeah, it was just a few stragglers that were helping. So Aaron's like, we're killing them all. They all wanted to kill us. Yep. Genocide. Multiple genocides. Multiple, yeah. yeah. Ah, and his own you know people, what? too. Here's what you do. You send them out there, you build walls around them. Now they can't get out. <laughs> Wall them in? <laughs> <laughs> like what the Marlins are going to I was gonna say. That's what the Eldians did. So no one believes the, the Eldians. 
Not that it would matter much. What do you think happened to Andy's dad? He's gonna uh, shot. I think he took a rifle. You know the thing that he sucks. Martial arts. I don't know. Against one guy. I thought there was a gunshot there, and then it's yeah. like gunshot, and but that was cut to to the island, yeah, not yeah. to what was going on there in Marley. Then, then, so I'm like, well, what happened? Yeah, I get. I think that. he started a revolt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think he's dead. I think he okay. could have gotten that. There could have been a gunshot, but if he ah got the gun, then <laughs> we know he's very well trained, but he has a limp. He does, but also... Yeah, but a limp the hindrance guy. when you gotta go far. He was right there. But there's like ten of the guys with guns there, too. Well, there's... There's a hundred other people goodness. without guns that want a gun. And yeah. the Marlins just expect them to submit and yeah. go over. You know what'd be great is that... the last time they've had a revolt? So. Aaron gets there and the Eldians have already taken over. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he'll care? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he'll care. Those yeah. Odians are, they, they're basically prisoners, you yeah. know? Like know. they're Sure, but they've been brainwashed to believe that they don't have a right to live, also. I mean, I love watching Aaron doing what he's doing. I hate what he's doing. <laughs> I hate watching what he's yeah. doing, too. I don't want it to happen, but I don't think he'll care. I mean, no one can see the rumbling, but it'd be interesting if his idea was just to get them to revolt. Yeah. To, like, tell uh, them that this sure. was happening. Yeah. But then he's actually doing it. He's so actually. really, he does nothing. Like he takes it out there, he builds a wall somewhere else, and they just live on an island. Or he just leaves them at the bottom of the ocean. And there's oh man, could you imagine like a boat coming across all and you just, <laughs> just grabs you? Like no, Godzilla? Was, yeah. yeah. It was funny. You were like, it takes them forever to get anywhere. It's not threatening, but you gotta think like there's millions. So like the ones that we're seeing here are long gone. <laughs> there's just more. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's terrifying. Well, because they're coming from the inner wall and the well, outer wall. Yeah, are they all heading in one direction, or are they all spread out? It seems like they, they're going in the other direction. They must Armin be going said, one way. Armin said they should be going that way, but they're going this way. Mm-hmm. And then, well, Connie was saying, like, there's, you know, they'll be less this way or yeah. safer this way or whatever to the south. Well, he's also just lying. lying about sure, but there are no titans there. Like, in the background of almost everybody else, you see just titans yeah. walking. You know? They're at the end with Hanji and Jean and... Like, pretty much anyone you see. But Connie, there was nothing. It was quiet and peaceful. Heck, with uh, Annie and them. They're following them, you know? Yeah. It's cool seeing Annie's backstory. It's very well, different from my father. fleshed out a be. little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Had a little I, know, bit I thought of that it. was her actual father. Like, whenever she thinks of her father, father would all come home. But it's very different. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because she said that. I'm like, I thought she was doing this for her parents. You yeah. know, like... She's like, I gotta get back home. But he's just some guy. They didn't even. Raised her, but raised her terribly. But like, he cared. Yeah, like, I guess. They left her outside of their own house. Like, normally you'd leave the baby at, like, a church or, like, someone else's house to take care of. Oh, I thought. Bye. No, that was just inside the walls of the internment zone. Yeah. That's what they had said. Where those soldiers were, like, holding all the people back? It was like they just went through the gate and put a baby there and left. Oh, it looked like a manor to me. It was a manor. I thought they said that that the the the, fa- the man of the manor yeah. had an affair with an Eldian. So that Eldian, I think, just left the baby at the father's house. I thought is what I it was. Mm. See, but I thought the Eldian was a servant, and like they had the baby, and then he just left the baby outside the house. That would be weird. Yeah, I thought they I left you. it inside the Eldian interment area. She said that I was left. Inside the walls of the alien internment uh, zone. Damn what? I got right to it. Like that's like outside Wayne Manor. Yeah, like this doesn't look like the Eldian. I was a product I mean, of my be. mother's affair with an Eldian man. Yeah, just let's hear so the, the mother story was the, again, not the father. Talk. I'm gonna talk. <laughs> the they left me inside the gates of the internment zone. Hmm? Right there. <laughs> All right. They say the words. But he's picking her up outside of Who the manor. Who cares? It's that, what do you mean? <laughs> she told the story. It could be so a city building for all we know. Visuals are more important. The translation could be off. I don't think Or maybe so. it's just symbolic. There's a wall between the internment zone and this manor, and she was left on the wrong side of it. Yeah. Or that was a church. But she was left in the internment zone. Whatever it is, it's going to be flattened in like yep. 10 days. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yep. Four years. This world is a shit. Not box. for years. Four. Four years. And he was in that icicle. Conscious only I when mean, she could hear voices. That's impressive until you watch Doctor Stone. Uh, she she said that <laughs> it was just darkness otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. She can't see. She you know, it's only the voices that sound far off. Like four years. You would go insane. I mean I know that she's a very disciplined warrior. Calvin would. He's um, already halfway there. So he would just be normal. Doctor Stone air. Four years, nothing. Kind of like Christo. He was a little crazy. That was one. That was, what, ten years? How long was that? He was in prison? 
<laughs> but he had a purpose. He was digging. <laughs> you need a purpose, and you're fine. Yeah, but if you can't, all you can do is sometimes hear people talk. Yeah, that's, I guess. I think you might go crazy. But, yeah, but he had a friend teaching him stuff. You no, know we should do. Mm-hmm. We should do that like test where it's like you just lock yourself in a room and you have like no internet or anything. You're yeah. just isolated for like and see how long people go for. I mean, they've done that. Yeah, it's no. We for should thousands we of should years. Do that. <laughs> we should have a competition. Yeah. How long we the four of us how last? How long can everyone last yeah. without outside influence? Like uh, when prisoners go to the hole or the. Like the isolation, solitary. solitary, like they talk about how they go crazy. <laughs> well, are you talking like no daylight, no nothing, or just no internet? And just like no and outside, no, no electronics outside or whatever. whatever. So it's like old boy. They haven't seen it. Damn. But we should make well, sure the best hallway sequences of all time. Be, well, I've seen that. <laughs> Everyone's seen that. Except for Daredevil. I don't know what the movie's about, except for that he fights in a hallway. That's all I know. You said one of. <laughs> Daredevil's included. Yeah. But the uh, well, said, except for Daredevil, Daredevil such a high bar. See, I, I, I picture like we, we we would have it. We all have our own camera and stuff. That way, we can film ourselves in that. And I imagine like I don't know, like I, I start going crazy. I can't do this. How long? And like I don't know. And then we cut over to Rick, and he's just fucking making videos and playing board games by himself. <laughs> How did he get the board game? If I have board if games have and stuff. weights, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> like if you're we saying just about electronics. electronics, I'm not saying you're sitting in a room completely empty. I'm just well, saying, that's like, solitary. No, that's not. I didn't. He said solitary. I just said no outside socializing yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you're just cutting off the social aspect. Yeah, like no internet. You're alone. You know, like what she is. Like, sure, you're not frozen in the dark. You know, like. <laughs> well, I'll just... I mean, humans are a social species. Like, you have to have a certain amount of interaction and touch and stuff, or you can't go crazy. But that doesn't necessarily compare to what any of went on through. No, in terms of. Nothing. I don't even know if she can feel. Like, can she feel her body? Does she, like it seems like the only thing that's a, that's awake is her brain, is she her hungry? ears, right? She, is she? She's not. And it's like like parsley. She's not eating. She's did not she doing anything poop? else. She's not burning calories Wait, except she, for her. Does she have like a poop hole in that? Like, I don't think so. No. Think so. A thing. Why would there be? Well, you don't want the poop to stay in the thing. Yeah, but surely they out. would have found the poop hole already when they were. She's trying not to eating food. She's Maybe, not making poop. What if it just opens when you have to poop? And then it closes. That's weird. Twenty four seven, they'd be looking. They'd try to grab it. Twenty four seven. Try to grab the poop. Oh, yeah, you don't think Hanji? No, the poop hole. You don't think Hanji? Grab the poop hole. This lady didn't find the poop hole. Yeah, but what, if what are you did? talking about? And that's how they lost a hand because it closed back up. Like, ah, I don't I, like this. I feel like Hitch would have complained to her about sweeping up her poop. Yep. If that was the case. All right. Yep. Didn't happen. That'd be the first thing I'm talking about. Would have put her in the stables, not in the basement. Whenever they had the the watery footprints, I thought for sure like she's probably using the bathroom because it's been four years. The first thing you do, ah! She just hiding behind a door. Yeah, it was great the way she like had her footprints Doubled lead around, lead away, and then she came back and hid behind the door. But it also makes sense that like what Hitch was saying is like it felt like I was being gripped by a grandmother. You're so weak. It's like yeah, she's been atrophying, right? Uh, I, guess. I wonder where Annie will fall in terms of what she's going to do because she did have that very apathetic nihilistic nothing matters so now everything matters if I feel that way about my father then these people feel that way about you know, what they what they love I just wonder where she goes she's kind of more similar to Gabby yeah right where Gabby was like they're devils and he's like we're all devils yeah <laughs> like there's just been more of a realization between us I think everyone's coming to that realization except Aaron <laughs> I'm right <laughs> yeah everyone needs to die but I'm in the same camp of, of Armin where I'm like well, I don't, what do we do with that I don't know what we do Nothing. Like I want to think, like, well, you gotta get Levi. You gotta get him healthy. Maybe he can go cut, like, destroy that Titan. I can't think of anybody else. Can Mikasa? There's just Mikasa and Levi flying around colossal Titans, cutting millions of colossal Titans. And Shadis. Shadis, yeah. You're gonna need a lot more blades. I don't know what the answer is. This. I don't know what you they do. can't get close enough to the colossal Titans. They're too hot. Yeah, but remember whenever. Are they all too? Remember when Levi got too close to the Beast Titan, though? (laughs) Do you think, like, where are all my Titans? (laughs) He fucking comes up his arm. See, the Colossal Titan, though, like, they did until it it pushed out steam. Yeah. Like, it wasn't always steaming. Yeah, but Aaron ran up its arm one time. Yeah. They're all steaming, though. Like, they were saying, like, yeah, the Earth is going to be crushed under smoldering feet. They didn't nah. seem to have some fun. They'll cool off in the river. Well, they have the Thunder Spears. The ocean. No, it's a river for them. They have Thunder Spears, yeah. So they don't have to get super close. Yeah, but if they... If that's when they steamed. So if it does shoot steam, it redirected it and it shut does. it off other ways. Now, I, I don't know if they 
I don't know how much control these guys have or how just we walk, you know, like what Aaron's making them do. Do you think they're not gonna be like Armin as a cloth titan? Do you think Flock is just taking advantage of the situation, or did, did Aaron really Aaron talk to really him? tell him all the details up until this point? I don't know. Like I, I don't have any reason not to trust my guest, but I could also see himself as like trying to place himself in a situation where he's a, the head of the Jaegerists. I have reasons not to trust him. Yeah, but is there a reason not to believe the statement he said? Well, like if I was Aaron, I don't trust. I wouldn't tell stuff. anybody. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing giving me pause. Like I don't know if Aaron trusts anybody have that information too I don't know shoot people like if he didn't if he didn't tell Armin and Mikasa is that because he wanted to isolate them from what is happening or is it because he wanted to use someone who was I mean, more expendable Flock's a true believer I hate Flock but I also like the more I see him the more well written he is <laughs> you know rather than just single dimensional exactly <laughs> Aaron's right yeah yeah I mean I guess if you need to convince him yeah get him on your side maybe you tell him maybe you tell him as much as he needs to know to be convinced and then from there on you do whatever you want and he doesn't matter he's super convinced yeah hmm. surrender is not worse than death is that what he said well yeah he said, if so, I were you, I Is would, submission like, worse than this? That's the complete other way than what Aaron would say. Yeah. You know, like he's going against his his new god for a little bit there when he says that, but... Like, it's surrender for them. It's not surrender for anyone else in the world, right? No. Aaron is going to destroy everything outside of the island, so I guess that works. That we know of. Yeah. We assume that he's going to go across there and slaughter everyone, but maybe like what Rick was saying before about having all of the Marlins across the world rebel. Eldians. That's what I meant. I get you. I don't know. They take over. They rise up. Yeah. Really like to see him with John, too, because uh, they are right. Like, John, all he wanted to do was work just hard enough to become an MP. And live a happy life inside the interior. Was that like season what? The season yeah. one, yeah, yeah. When they were training and when they decided that you know, I love, I love rewatching that uh, that episode with Irvin when he's you know, all everybody's walking away, and only these people are there as scouts. And John makes that decision. Fuck it, you know. He goes and he stands beside the others, and Irvin, uh, he goes, cadets. This is a genuine salute. Because he knows, like, none of you are going to live. Yeah. But, like, you stood here and said you will. So, just by that nature, Irvin, the commander, salutes you. I always love that. I miss him. But I feel for Armin, too. Like, I've said before, like, I don't know if that was the right choice. Now I just feel bad, you know? Now Armin's him. doubting you himself. I know. You, and you, I know. you put it in his mind. But, like, it's your fault, Eric. What you, you told him like, that what, he deserves to die. What would have been different? Like, just a, as, like, a fun thinking exercise, like, what would have been different if Irvin was there? I don't think Irvin would have put up with any of... I don't think any of, Irvin of, would have backed Aaron. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. So... But would... Would Aaron have gone to the lengths he has without, like... Because he always respected Irvin in, in the way he did things. And now he was, like, kind of left to do what he needed to do on his own. I don't know. Well, they probably would have had Irvin to follow. Like, after that event happened. Yeah. Like, the leadership and the... Yeah. Who, where they followed to who, like... And he'd be the colossal things Titan. Things changed, you know? Right? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, they kind of started following Aaron more, right? Yeah. After Irvin died? Well, because Aaron did that whole infiltration of Marley and was responding back in a... Uh, mail or whatever, and then it ended up he was just tricking them to be able to do the attack now. So, would he have done the same thing if he had like a, a leader like Irvin still alive? I don't know. And he knew Armin would come and do it. Yeah. Like, he probably would not have thought that about Irvin, so. Everything would be different, I think. I love Irvin so much. He's, he's dead. Dead he mess. Is. There is no alternate. We can't change time. We Maybe change we time. can. No! That would be ridiculous. Ridiculous! That would be cool, though. It would be cool. I don't know how you do that. Who would he <sighs> influence? He can't influence anyone there. Well, I mean... He can influence himself, but then he would be he messing would, himself up. He influenced his dad. Yeah, but in that moment of Irvin dying, 
and giving it to Armin. The only person he could influence, really, would be himself, right? The interesting thing is, is that it's relative. Like, we probably wouldn't know if time had changed or not. Because, for us, the time change has already happened. That's what always happened. It, it's definitely how it plays out. Is yeah. like, the future of this mm-hmm. talks to the past of this. And thus, this is what the story is. Yeah. Not so much a, we're going to change so, what happened. So we go back and now it's different. We're Instead of a time. timeline being like a bubble that diverges, mm-hmm. it's like... Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you're saying. Do the sound again. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Attack on Titan. It's been incredible so far. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can see the reaction as it comes out next week. And you can also check out patreon.com slash blind where you can watch along with us full length. You can also get early access to other shows that are not live. Unlike this one, which is live. So subscribe to catch it.